Welcome to another video. In this video, we show you the overview on the power table. Power table is a crazy beast, to be honest. You can get it here under table, and what can you do with this? A lot. You can bring back objects, you can bring back reports. I'm actually going to show you a quick example here. So, report, I've got this report which brings back hospital accounts. You don't have to add a condition, but what you can do is you can just simply specify different um, fields. So within my report, I've got account name, I've got account ID, account number, and then what I'm also doing is bringing back contact. So let's bring back, let me show you here. So we'll bring back, bring back um, first name, we'll bring back last name, we'll bring back email, like this, all right? Click apply, and it's gonna create my power table. And this is crazy because what can you do with this? There's a lot you can do with it. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. So this is just a report from Salesforce that I've potentially pulled into my table here. And as you can see, it's going to bring back some results here like this. All right. It's very, very cool. So this is the account details and these are the contacts related to that account. What else can you do with this? It's a lot. Let me show you. In the configuration, you can edit the mapping. So for example, you wanted to, let's add a column, right? And this column, it, it's, it's nothing doing, but it's just like a static column. And I'm gonna call this one, I don't know, let's say contact details. All right, and now what I can do is I can just move this over here and then move this field as a child to that, that basic contact details like this, all right? So you can see the link here that I keep disconnecting and connecting. So like that, and just like that. Now let me show you how this works. Let me click save and publish. You can see now that when it loads, you'll be able to see like the contact is segregated. You see it's called contact details, and now that is underneath that. You can really, really go pretty broad with this. In the column, you can now do other stuff as well. So let me show you. In the interactivity, you can allow selection if you want. You can allow global filter so they can search on something. You can allow resize, which will allow you to resize as you see fit as well like this. Very, very cool functionality, auto grow. If you wanted to auto grow, it will. You can column filter based on account name or, or any other filters really. You can column sort based on the column. You can column group by. These are the messages that you can set. You can set condition, value rules based off the, the column details. This is the Salesforce configuration. You can set animation. You can set metadata. There is a lot you can do with Power Table. This is just not a one size fits all. There is many different ways of, of doing the data, but the bottom line is that you can bring from multiple objects within um, within the table itself or, uh, or from a report and, and do some pretty cool stuff. One of the other cool stuff you can do is if you click on this icon here, you've got tons of uh, options. Like you can include an action, okay? That action can be a Salesforce action. You can also allow them to edit so the report becomes completely editable. So let me show you here for a second. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and launch it. And then let's say if a customer wants to, to modify their data, you can see how I can modify this, all right? And let's say if I change the name, what you can do is you can run a push. So upon edit, it will automatically push that data back to Salesforce. All right, and you can set validation rules on it as well. So that's an, one another amazing functionality you can do on Power Table. And it keeps going really, like there, there is no end to it. You can uh, allow edits, you can configure a subcomponent. So let's say you wanted to bring contacts, uh, sorry, accounts in the first one. Let me actually show you this so you get it. Delete both, let's bring in a new one over here. Let's say first one, we bring back accounts. And this one will say um, account name contains 
Australia Hospital. All right. Next. And this is only just one account that's available with that name. So we'll do account name, account type. Now, here's a funny thing. What I can do is I can do configure subcomponent. And this is going to be a table. You can also be a chart or an iframe. It's really up to you. And I'm going to say bring contacts. And then in the contacts, I will say that the account ID must equal my power table, which is the first power table value like that which we know is the account ID. And then now what we're gonna do is just gonna bring back first name, last name, and then email. Click apply, apply. Let's make this a bit bigger. And then let me show you. Publish on site. As you can see, this is my account. And voila, just like that, it's going to go ahead and load my contacts. And the best part is I can modify all of this data as well and push it back to Salesforce. Like I can edit from the top, I can edit from the bottom, and I can keep going one to many, many to many, many to many, and just keep going. And that's the power of the power table, hence the name. It's a beautiful feature. I hope you already enjoy it. And I look forward to see what other use cases you can use this with.